Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, January 24th. Any hopes that the U.S. relations with North Korea would improve under that nation's new young ruler now look dashed. North Korea said today it will launch more long-range rockets, continue its nuclear weapons development, and move toward the ability of striking the United States with those weapons. The threats come after the United Nations announced new sanctions against the communist country. Sanctions were approved this week in reaction to the ballistic missile launch conducted by North Korea back in mid-December. Back home, Senator John Kerry was on the other side of the testimony table today. Kerry went before a Senate committee for hearings on his nomination to be Secretary of State. Among the issues he discussed, the Obama administration's moves to strengthen the U.S. relationship with China, the world's number two economy. Kerry also repeated the administration's position of preventing Iran from getting nuclear weapons. The confirmation of Kerry is expected to be relatively trouble-free. President Obama wants to have former U.S. Attorney Mary Jo White as the top cop overseeing Wall Street and the financial world. Obama named White as head of the Securities and Exchange Commission. He also said Richard Cordray will remain as head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Both White and Cordray are former federal prosecutors. Analysts say that's a signal the administration plans to hold the financial world accountable for any wrongdoing. And a bill passed in the House of Representatives looks to withhold pay from Congress if a budget for the coming fiscal year is not approved by April 15th. Experts say, however, that the attempt by Congress to hold its own feet to the fire is in all likelihood unconstitutional. The 27th Amendment says members of Congress cannot vary their own pay. Republicans who introduced the bill and supported it say it's worded to be in compliance with the amendment but outside authorities say it would not likely stand up to a challenge, even if the money were simply put in escrow. That's your political news roundup for Thursday, January 24th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.